My name is Tyann Battle, Executive Director of ACH Clear Pathways, where our mission is to nurture creativity through the visual and performing arts by providing an opportunity to youth and families within the arts. And our vision is to serve as an artistic hub by providing artists and a community a place to thrive within the arts. The Hill District Arts Festival is the first of its kind for the community. The festival goal is to bring back the artistic drive, positive awareness, as well as a sense of community back into the Hill District. ACH Clear Pathways has successfully completed a community festival at a large scale, which made a huge impact on the community and also the region of the city of Pittsburgh. The festival will be an annual event for local artists, small businesses, food truck vendors, and entrepreneurs. I'd like to share a few things about a new program designed by ACH Clear Pathways in response to the critical need for young people who are experiencing trauma caused by delinquent juvenile siblings. Our program began as a response to a request for proposals from R.K. Mellon in early 2021. We were fortunate enough to have been awarded the grant funding and we are currently working on developing the program in full and beginning a pilot program. The program was developed in response to uh, my personal experience of seeing the collateral damage done to youth who were not juveniles, but were the siblings of juvenile delinquents. ACH, in response to that collateral damage, worked on what would collateral repair look like. As we worked through it, we developed a team of renowned psychologists from the doctoral department at Duquesne University from uh, former probation officers, currently uh, educators at universities. Um, we have worked with grant writers, community workers, noble who would act as mentors to create a development group. This group has looked at what the needs would be to provide collateral repair. We decided repair was not an effective name. After all, who would want to come to a program called repair? In response to that, we found the name REACH, R-E-A-C-H, which is an acronym for restore, empower, advocate, challenge, and heal. ACH works with senior citizens by implementing arts and wellness programming, which includes sound healing, mindfulness, and other artistic programs. We believe this helps with cognitive functions, memory, mood, motor skills, and social interaction, and also self-expression for our seniors who participate. We are excited to also promote intergenerational relationships with our youth and our seniors at our facility within our community. ACH has partnered with the Foster Grandparent Program for over eight years, which has truly made an impact on both our youth and seniors. Um, so as far as the dance program here, uh, we provide uh, various different techniques. Um, in different dance categories, so ballet, jazz, contemporary, um, and right now we provide mostly hip hop. Um, dancing in short terms uh, helps with your confidence um, and it helps you have a little bit more mobility um, in your everyday life.
Um, so anything that has to do with cardiovascular health um, and mental health. Being that uh, I didn't have a lot of different dance opportunities growing up, something like the dance program that we have here, um, I like being a part of because it, I, I feel like I'm giving back uh, to my community um, and being able to be something that I didn't have growing up um, really makes me feel good. Working with the kids in the summer, we uh, did a production of In the Heights, uh, which is a musical uh, based out of New York uh, in the city of Washington Heights. Um, and I think doing that musical in particular uh, kind of related to the kids a little bit more. Um, not only that, but it helped me build patience um, and learn a different way of how to teach kids stage presence and uh, technique. It feels good to be able to use my talents for good um, and give it back to our community. So visual arts are very important for community development in terms of public art and accessibility, as well as developing creativity anywhere from children all the way up to adults and seniors. I have plans to begin community art projects here with ACH Clear Pathways and the focus will especially be on collaborative projects where each individual creates their own little slice of a piece and then it's all put together into one big project because being able to see the specific part that you participated in and that you contributed to the overall project provides a real source of pride and accomplishment in people even if it's a very small piece you can still look at something and say that part was me I did that that's my signature so our senior programming began about two months ago and we've so far gone through three different projects in one, they had pre-printed canvases of various bouquets, very simple designs. Then in partnership with another one of our major projects here, we are painting flowers and butterflies and dragonflies. They, they seem to enjoy that too. And then finally, we've just started painting uh, abstract designs on records. So over the last year, I have tried to stress creative expression and free thinking as opposed to pure artistic talent. Artistic talent is something that really needs to be refined over years, and it's not fair to expect that sort of thing out of everybody. However, anybody can think like an artist. Anybody can think creatively. It all just takes a little bit of switching how your mind works. Really try to implement that across all of my lessons where the final product, whether it was our claymation movie from the spring showcase or the physical set and backdrop for our production of In the Heights over the summer or our upcoming concrete jungle program, it's all focused on creating the best representation of an idea. The media arts program here at ACH Clear Pathways gives all of our participants an opportunity to express themselves and express their interest in media arts and entertainment. Uh, there are a lot of different forms of media and entertainment and for here, specifically at ACH, we're focusing on photography and video. We offer the program to not only our out-of-school time children, but also for the summer camp program. Uh, some projects we recently completed were ACH News, where we've completed three episodes so far. And we've also uh, recorded our summer showcase, which was a production of In the Heights that was done by our summer creative camp. Uh, some other opportunities that we have for our seniors um, in community programming to learn how to use cameras and photography equipment. They'll learn the vocabulary, they'll learn the basics of the equipment, how to identify and use all those things. Those are all components of the program here at ACH.
And it's not all work here. Uh, we do have a lot of fun in the media center because media is something that provides a lot of entertainment. Uh, we have multiple 75 inch televisions here. We have multiple gaming systems and, and virtual reality uh, systems that are utilized and, and, and open to be used by anybody who participates in our programs. Um, so we do have a variety of options here in our media arts program. Uh, my goal for the program is to be able to expose not only our youth, but community members, anybody who's interested in media to different forms of media and also different jobs in media. Uh, there's so many times where we look at things and we think, okay, the person on the screen or on stage, you know, they're the one who gets all the praise and does all the work, but nothing is done on, on its own. Uh, there's a team of people behind the scenes, and so one of my goals is to be able to just expose those other jobs and other opportunities in the field to be able to say, okay, I don't have to be on stage to be a part of this team. I don't have to do the common jobs that we see in entertainment in order to matter, in order to have, make a difference in the industry or just in your personal life or your passion or what you want to do. ACH Clear Pathways has picked up the torch to continue the use of the Kaufman Center as an artistic hub for this community. Residents of the city of Pittsburgh can remember jazz sessions at the Kaufman Center as good times. ACH will now continue to offer that flair of excitement. Musicians, bands, poets, and more will have the opportunity to showcase within the space, which will bring back a sense of community and entertainment. ACH Clear Pathways Kaufman Center includes several venue spaces within our facility for all your rental needs. These rental spaces will help provide sustainability for the center to be an artistic hub for many years to come. Elsie Hillman Auditorium is a state-of-the-art facility for performances, grand events, and community gatherings. The balcony seats 198 and the lower level seats 150 theater style. Fly Space Production provides all AV tech needs for the auditorium. The Ross and Carol Nees Community Room and ACH Clear Pathways Writing Center are all designed for intimate gatherings of 20 to 40 people. These spaces work well for corporate and community meetings, small group gatherings, and includes a 55-inch smart TV for presentation capabilities. Lastly, ACH Clear Pathways Art Studio and the Terry and Janet Serafini Digital Media Center are great spaces for your art and digital needs. Whether you would like to host a painting with a twist for your little ones, fun painting night out with friends, or host a gaming night with the latest games and digital media equipment, these spaces can accommodate all your party needs. 